crafters welcome to today's video i'm very excited about seeing you guys again today we're going to make a safe box it's super simple when i saw its mechanism i was like is this for real it's super easy to make once you watch the video if you find it really easy and you get surprised too give this video a thumbs up and share this video with a friend if not give it a thumbs up anyway remember to subscribe by clicking the red button down here please 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 I think that you can make this safe box for an anniversary because you can put a special date on it or it can also be a piggy bank or you can use it just as decoration because it looks pretty you guys choose so let's start with a tutorial we're going to need a box that has a lid on the top and on the bottom here we're going to draw a 7 by 10 centimeter door right in the middle if you're using a box with different measurements then this may vary then we're going to cut it with a precision knife very carefully and only on three of the sides so that we're able to open it like this. With the help of our ruler, we're going to open it to the left side so that it can open up correctly. This is the base of our safe box. We're also going to need a square that measures 4.5 cm by 4.5 cm, in which we're going to draw a line at 2 cm from the right side. In the middle of that line, we're going to draw a dot which is going to become a hole where a pencil or a small stick should fit in. Done! We have a hole like this one! We're going to need another square with the same size that is going to be placed behind it. This is going to be the mechanism of our box. Then we're going to place the square with the smallest side, which is the side that measures 2 cm, paste it right on the limit of the door. We're going to mark down the circle using a pencil, and it's just where we're going to make a hole of the same size. Now I'm going to explain you how this mechanism works. See, you have a pencil with the smallest side right in the border of the door, but when we rotate it, this corner will obstruct, this side is a little bit longer, the same thing with this corner and this side. Notice that the one that allows you to open the door if we put this behind is the smallest one that we had at first. Making this piece can be a little bit difficult because the measurements may vary depending on your box size. I recommend you to make a couple of pieces with different sizes so that you can check if it obstructs every side as it should. Paste the two squares. And I'm going to use a small pencil that I had so that it can be the stick that holds the piece. I'm just going to take off the back part and the tip. And I'm going to paste it on the base using silicone. For the knobs, we're going to use two paperboard circles of 3.5 cm. We're going to punch a hole through the center. Remember that a pencil or a thick stick should be able to fit inside. Then we're going to paste them, this is only to make it sturdy enough. Place what we just did behind the door. Now using a strip of toilet paper carton, we're going to measure around it to be able to make the top part or the knob in order to get it right, I recommend you to do a simulacrum by placing all the pieces where they belong. In that way, you'll be able to see the size proportions. To make it prettier, I will add purple corrugated cardboard and then I'll just add the last details to the knob. For the box, I'm going to use hot silicone to add the textures because I want to make it look like an all safe box. You can look for pictures online of safe boxes to get inspired. Then just keep on decorating every side. I will paste the legs on the bottom part which are made with a wooden stick and toilet paper carton. And that's it! Now we just have to paint it. I chose this sort of salmon color. Also, I'm going to use gold paint for the details to give it a metallic effect and add it on the silicone textures. I recommend you to use a sponge so that you only use a little bit of paint and to give it that metallic look. It looks super cute! I love how it's turning out! The next thing to do is add the lines to the base of our knob. Remember to paste it on carton to make it thicker. After, add the mechanism in the back part of the door where it closes. Add the knob and right in that line is where we're going to add a little triangle. To point out that that's the number that we wanted to open with. Afterwards, take off the knob and add the rest of the numbers. Now we're just going to paste the lid around it. And then we're going to place this on the stick. For the inside part, we're going to add colored decorated paper and that's it! The box should be able to work. It should open on number 18 and not open on the rest of the numbers. If you find it difficult to open the box, 
I recommend you to make something to pull on using wooden sticks. This box is great for storing a really special gift and you can add the date of your anniversary. Or you can just use it for decoration. Leave a comment below saying the colors of the hearts that you see here on the table. I hope you guys liked this idea, I thought it was really awesome. Please send me your pictures in all my social networks using hashtag craftinggeek. That's all for today, see you in the next video which might be sooner than you think. Goodbye! We're done! If you like this video, you might like these other DIY ideas.